Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Today is Whip Caddy video. Yay! I'm so excited about Whip Caddy video. I love to show off what projects that I'm working on. I love to show off um, the Whip Caddies that people have posted in my Facebook group page. And there's a lot of you guys out there that have Whip Caddies that um, haven't posted in my Facebook group page. But I would love it if you did. And we can show off what all, you know, how you pile your Whip Caddy up. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look at that clip now. And here we have Jane's new cart. She is working on the Sorella Everyday Cardigan with the yarn on the top and on the bottom, she is working on the crochet along for the towel toppers. Now Debbie looks like she's got a lot going on there with all the project bags that she has in her whip caddy. It looks a lot like mine. Now this is Michelle's cart. She is actually using her grandmother's tea cart for her whip caddy cart and I just think that is just lovely. Now Lenore, hers is all nice, neat, and tidy. I would love to have mine like this. It looks like she's got a lot of projects going on though with all that yarn she's got on those two shelves. All right, wasn't that fun? Um, today's whip caddy for me, I don't actually have my whip caddy in here because um, I'm not actually working on anything in my whip caddy this week. Everything that I'm working on happens to be in bags or tubs. <laughs> so um, I will go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I want to show is this was a little bag, a Christmas bag my daughter had given us um, for Christmas, you know, filled with goodies. Well, I'm using it, obviously. But here is my project. And this is going to be, you know, the, the peekaboo, the sloth. You guys have all seen it. I've probably showed it a hundred times. But um, I did pull out my colors yesterday so that I can get started on this. And I'll just show it real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I've showed it a hundred times. And you're probably tired looking at it. But there it is. And so I do have my bag. This is going to be his striped shirt this is going to be the hat i'm going to go ahead and go with the gold hat like it shows in the photo i'm using this here for um the body this for the claws and then uh these it calls for scrap pieces so that's all my colors that i have pulled out so i'm just really tickled that i've actually you know once you pull out your colors um, then you're gonna more apt to getting it done than if you don't pull out your colors all right guys Okay, so I have that pulled out. Next thing that I have to show is I had ordered some yarn from yarnnut.com and it's this ice yarn. And this yarn is sold um, in the States. So uh, you get a, still get a good price on it and um, you get it faster <laughs> than you would. And you don't have to buy a certain amount. So this is called Candy Pink and this is, I think was called Beige. And those were from yarnnut.com it's Lorena worsted I believe is what the yeah Lorena worsted some medium full weight yarn just the bag I had bought this at Michael's and uh, got it on clearance and it's an it just adorable <laughs> so this is what I'm making uh, using as my project bag for this and it says let's see if I can find one that says I don't know, it's like my label is over it, but I saw it the other day and it said how much it was. Yeah, 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. There we go. Anyway, so it um, what I have in this bag is I have those two out and then I have these three. Now, I'll leave a picture of the purse itself, but this um, is called you see, I am on row 12, I think. And it's this purse right here. I'll leave a picture of it. All right. It says it's for experienced. Um, so far, I'm okay. And it says it even comes with a video that you can go by to help you once you get... Hold on. I'm going to make sure I got enough yarn pulled out so I don't pull out my stitches. 
Okay, once you get past this row right here, this right here, then it has a video to uh, start this next row. I'm really excited that it's coming out good. Um, just take your time. If you want to do this, just do like me. Just take your time, one stitch at a time, and watch the video. She does have a left-handed version and a uh, right-handed version. So, all right. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, yes. I am starting my Daphne blanket uh, afghan again. My daughter wants one. Um, you know, I made one for a gift. Well, she wants one because she wants it in the baby's room, but she wants it for her, not for the baby. Um, she wants to cuddle up with it and have a blanket on her. So, um, I have my four triangles so far. This is what I have. I have all four of them, and I'm fixing to start on this peach color right here. Here are her colors that she picked. What is that? Okay, here are the colors that she picked right here. The gray is already out because I already did the gray and I'm not putting any more gray in it. Um, I should have probably used a darker gray because to me the gray doesn't stand out that much. I was going to have gray and then this was going to be gray. But then when I saw how light the gray was, I decided to make two rows of this because um, for the five colors, one of the colors is going to have to have two rows unless I do... Um, Unless I make it one row short, and I don't, I want it kind of big, you know, because she's an adult. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just do, instead of two gray rows like I did my other one, I'm going to do two peach rows. But that's her color. She, that, that is a, like a navy blue. That's a salmon and peach. And then this is what it's all trimmed in. And then that's, it's turquoise. And then, like I said, I already pulled the gray out. But that's the Daphne Afghan. So, I am working on one of those. And, um, you see, this H hook is for that. So, I say, oh, and then the other thing is, I am, to make that bigger, I am using a K hook for this. It is not what they call for. I think they call for an I hook. But, they also have smaller yarn. And so, since I want mine to be bigger and more adult size, um, I am using a four weight yarn and a K hook and, um, you know, I've already made one of these. It turned out beautiful. And so, uh, that's my second one. All right. So I have that. I have the purse project going. I have the Daphne blanket going. I'm fixing to be starting the, um, the sloth. And then the last but not least, I am finishing up my finishing up my farmhouse granny that is a Annie's pattern and here is what I'm at on this and I'm excited about this one I love these colors I tried to go by the colors the best I could in the photo tried matching it matching things up let's see I tried my best to match these colors up the best that I could um, cause you know, you guys hear me all the time saying I'm not good with coordinating colors <laughs> cause most of these times when you see me coordinate colors, it's because I'm copying a pattern. <laughs> um, and oh yeah. And then here's my part of one of my sides. Isn't that so pretty? I just love it. That's going to go down uh, the sides, but here's some of the gray that I have right here. And this is the tub that I'm carrying around for it. And I leave them in there. When I sit in my chair, I have all of these pulled out straight so that all I have to do is just I crochet with them sticking straight up out of the back. I mean, out of the tub. So I don't, I'm not taking anything out of the tub, um, except for these are kind of in my way a little bit. Um, but I'm almost done with this one. And so this will be moved. And this one, I can actually squeeze in there now. Um, I don't know why I still have it on top, but I do. Uh, what size of hook am I using with this? Because I've already pulled the hook out. Yeah, it's a K hook. I thought it was a big hook. So I'm using a K hook with that. So I'm really excited. Most of this is just um, Craft Smart yarn, Big Twist yarn. There's a few Red Heart yarn in here. 
um, I think the Cafe Latte, that's the Red Heart. That's Cafe Latte. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at on that. The um, other thing is I did get some Happy Mail. This is um, from, it says, you are all kinds of awesome. It's a Valentine card. Isn't that pretty? And this is uh, from Mulberry Lane Craft Podcast. This is Haley. And Haley just opened up an Etsy shop. And it's, um, I'm assuming that the, it is Mulberry Lane Craft. Haley, is that the name of your um, Etsy shop? Is Mulberry Lane Craft? Um says, I recently opened up my Etsy shop, and I'm sending you one of my yarn cake cozies. Enjoy. Um, and she leaves a really sweet note in here. Thank you, Haley, so much for that. That's really sweet. Um, but, Haley, um, I have not gone to the Etsy shop to check this out because I just received it, and I was pretty excited about it. I thought it was really cool, and I wanted to show it off. But um, So, I haven't had a chance to go to your Etsy shop, but I will leave her link below her Etsy shop. I will find out for sure if this is her Etsy shop name. But this is a cozy that she sent. Isn't it cute? And it's made like a, a jersey knit type material. And so I put it on one of my cakes so that I could see how it works. And um, I just pull my yarn from here when I work. And it this does like get smaller. So this goes with it. And so it keeps your yarn all together. And I thought that was really cool. So... Um, Thank you so much for that, Haley. So if everyone wants to check out Haley's um, YouTube video, YouTube channel, and her Etsy shop, I will leave those links below. I appreciate that very much. Um, okay, so our um, 365 days of prayer to end our video. You know, I feel like God has blessed me tremendously with this video, and that's one reason why I give honor to and glory to him um, by doing these little daily devotions at the end is because I do not want to leave God out of what he has blessed me with. So anyway, so that's one reason why I try to make sure that I always have these at the end of my videos. Um, it says, you are perfect. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Psalms 1830. Lord, can I just bathe in your perfection today? I want to take it in. Be overwhelmed by all the ways you are perfect until it is too much for me to contain. It's so much to strive for, the call to be like you, but what a wonderful way to pass the time. I have no request, Lord. I only want to celebrate you. As I reflect on your perfect love, forgiveness, peace, provision, protection, and more, keep bringing to mind even more of the ways you amaze me. Keep showing me new things to strive for, new ways to be grateful. Are you ready to bathe in God's perfection and be overwhelmed by his ways? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, all the things I have on my whip caddy. And I hope that I have inspired you guys to um, get out there like this, out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone and try something new. I mean, that's what I'm doing right here. This is new. Totally. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.